Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to create a pivot table and show you how you can create a running total percentage in that pivot table. So on the screen, I've got some simple data and I'm going to create a pivot table that is going to group these by courses. Tell me how much I've spent and how many courses I did or how much money I got, should I say. So to get a pivot table, I'm going to insert pivot table selects the data and it's giving me options there current selection is what i want so i'll just click ok and uh, it's going to drop this on a separate sheet once i've done it but i'll just move this over a little while now i want to do it by course so that's going to give me a row of courses i want to see the cost cost i also want to see the count of courses now i've dropped that in there and it's come up with some so i'm just going to double click on that and change that to count and then OK. And then I'm going to put location in the filter area. So you've got location in the filter area. Now to get the running total or the percentage for each of these courses, like which is the highest percentage, what you have to do is bring the cost field in again. So I've got cost in twice. If I double click on it though, it's, that's all the options I can have. But if I go um, down the bottom there where it says display value, you've got normal what it's on at the moment and then you've got these options and the one I want to show you is this one percentage of column click on that one click OK so that's what that one's going to be if I click OK to that it creates that for me I get my courses that shall summary costs the number of courses I did and then you've got this percentage that they each of these roles represents in terms of 100% so 25% of courses are Axis, 40% are Excel, etc. Now if you want to change these labels, you can change the labels as long as you don't use the word, the same word as what the field is called. So if I wanted that to be cost, probably won't let me do that. So you just snap back into sum of cost because that's the title for that column which is part of the pivot tables but I can put an S on it so it should let me put costs with an S and this would let me put courses for the same reason courses so just relabeling this and then that will allow me to put the percent symbol on so that makes a bit more sense when you're looking at that pivot table so that's all I wanted to show in this little session how you can get yourself a percentage column in your pivot table. So thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.